on guys Onk the cat here coming at you once again and I'm gonna get on my cheat sheet here because I was a fucking dipshit and I didn't realize I did get the email I thought I deleted it but Beyblade 111 thank you for the subscription and to all my other subscribers you're the fucking best thank you very very much let's get into this shit <clears throat> today I want to talk to you about diabetes alright specifically diabetes that I have now I'm in my 40s I know I know my voice sounds like it's younger just great genetics unfortunately my mom was prone to diabetes and because I weigh 250 fucking pounds I'm a diabetic I got major back problems and now I'm starting to develop neuropathy of the legs. Uh, my calf muscles feel like they're, you know, that if you've ever sat on your legs for very long or the blood doesn't, you know, doesn't, isn't in your legs for very long, you get that tingling feeling. It's not quite awake. It's not quite feelable. I got that in both calf, calf muscles on my left leg. Got it in my toes and I don't heal on my lower legs as much as possible and to make all the women jealous out there my lower legs are completely freaking hairless completely no needing to shave but for a man that's kinda of distressing when you don't have well if you're a man's man not a complete fucking soy eating shit bag then having no hair on your lower legs sucks unless you're like a bodybuilder but even then it still sucks so a while back I did a video that I was in a dark dark area that dark area was the fact that my significant other had a really good fucking job she ended up losing that job not even gonna get into that <coughs> but she went from making like almost 17 an hour to making 13 an hour let me tell you something that really fucking that really fucking plays hell with your finances really fucking does and then I got a job in the same place that my significant other was working in I got in a job in a hospital doing security doesn't matter where just doing security you figure you know doing security you'd be yeah, you know, fucking cakewalk, right? Yeah, no, I don't think so. 12-hour shift. Only a half-hour break. Now, I didn't know I had neuropathy of the legs until my calf muscles and my feet basically wrecked themselves. I had been walking around this hospital. This, uh, this hospital is about about eight to ten floors right and you gotta walk around all of them and for you know a young person who doesn't have my ailments in life that would be fine I'd be no issues no uh, no problems right for me though at the end of the night I had a blood blister under my fucking right top big toe and I had another one on top of my right big toe and then later on I started developing another blister on my fucking pinky toe. Now I thought it was my shoes, so I switched out fucking shoes. One that got more air to them, put my diabetic socks on, and I thought everything was great. Went in the next night. No. Wrecked my fucking feet. Just completely wrecked my feet, right? So, I tell my boss, who already knew I was a diabetic, told him in the fucking interview, and they told me that they would give me adequate, uh, what was it, uh, fucking adequate, uh, I don't know, help or whatever, you know, um, something because of, you know, the, the, the problems with diabetes and shit. Okay, so let me just explain my pay rate, right? My pay rate was fifteen seventy-five an hour. Because I worked the night shift, I got 8% increase for 12 fucking hours. Okay, so I was making somewhere around 1625, 1630, some shit like that. 
on the weekends from about five o'clock in the afternoon which I came in at six I would be making almost 1850 an hour now me being the complete fucking retard that I am thinking that you know seeing that they would give me you know they knew I was a diabetic they knew that I had all these fucking problems and shit they would maybe you know okay fine we can uh, you know you can get a wheelchair or electric wheelchair or some shit like that and you can roll your fucking ass around the hospital and do the exact same fucking job that everybody else does that has legs that work so I go into this meeting and they just looked at me and said mm, no and I'm like uh, what D didn't you say you would give me you know adequate uh, uh, fucking stuff for diabetics you know and they ask us in every fucking you know interview nowadays because diabetics are considered a fucking disability so no what they did do for me though is told me to fuck off well basically told me to fuck off uh, they were just like, oh, no, see, see, we've got to be able to have you walking around the hospital and for 12 fucking hours with only one half hour break. Uh, yeah, that's bullshit, too. Um, <clears throat> we can't really have you, you know, working. But what we're going to do is, is we're not going to fire you. We're going to give you a 30-day sabbatical, unpaid to find another job that can suit you or adequately help you in your with your newfound issues you wanna know how long my fucking job lasted me two weeks two weeks i went from bringing home about a thousand dollars over two weeks which that was the only goddamn paycheck i'll ever fucking get to sit at home watching my cock get smaller yeah my, my balls shriveling up yay diabetes hooray I lost a fucking $18 an hour job because I have diabetes and neuropathy now I know the business side of things I used to run a business I used to run long care and all that kind of bullshit so they're protecting themselves from a lawsuit from me potentially hurting myself even more with my diabetic problems so what they did was protect themselves and I, I, I have not got a problem with this but I will say this to every single fucking person out there who has a potential for diabetes if you weigh over 200 fucking pounds get yourself checked out for diabetes now if you have if your if your family has a history of it get checked out now I didn't know how I had diabetes I was about 23 years old when I started gaining a lot of weight I had no idea that I was prone to diabetes until my mom fucking told me for fucking almost four years into the, my, my gaining weight that she was prone to diabetes yay awesome fuck so the yeast infections and all kind of other shit that came along with that and yes guys can get yeast infections and trust me it is not as pleasant as you think it is it sucks ass but I'm telling you if you're of the 200 pound mark get your fucking ass checked out now if you got a history of, if your family's got a history of it get fucking checked out now you do not want to go through the shit that I'm going through right now I lost an $18 an hour fucking job because I'm a fucking diabetic directly because of diabetes and the state that I fucking live in I can't get a fucking SSI so <laughs> I'm probably shit out of luck so do yourself a big fat fucking favor get yourself checked out yeah and I've heard it all before I've heard hey why don't you just get on a fucking treadmill won't you get on a fucking truck? I'll tell you what, how about we swap out, swap out my back for yours? I'll take your back for a month. you fucking right. Take my back. I got two slip discs in my back with nerve damage and a fucking bone fissure pushing into my spinal cord. Go ahead. Take my back for a month. See how long you last. 
See how long you can hide the pain in front of motherfuckers. And then come back to me and say, hey, get on a treadmill. Yeah, fuck you. As I said in my other, bag, uh, other, other video to Bungie, you can eat a bad bag of dicks. Alright? So, get fucking checked out for me, alright, fellas? You need to stay fucking healthy. I love you all. And all my new subscribers, you are awesome. All my old subscribers who have been here for a while, you're the fucking best for sticking with my bullshit. Well, I'm Zonk the Cat. And I'm out.